your know, thoughts? He's only been in, uh, in the public eye for about the last 14, uh, 14, 15 months. We still know very little about him. Uh, I, would, I would see him as a younger version of Bashar al-Assad, more internationalized uh, than his mm. father, uh, having spent time in, and gone to school in Europe, uh, but still very much uh, committed to maintaining uh, this iron uh, grip on, on the country. Uh, the most outrageous, uh, one of the most outrageous provocations that North Korea ever committed, sh uh, shelling a civilian island in South Korea, happened well, after Kim Jong-un had been introduced to the public. Mm -hmm. Nothing's happened this past year, uh, but uh, certainly he got off to a, to a big uh, bang of a start uh, in 2010. So uh, I don't think we can expect much in the way of enlightened leadership from Kim Jong-un. That's right. You just mentioned the uh, sinking of the Chan'an incident in 2010. It happened right after Kim Jong Un was named a, well, a four-star general. Actually, that happened before. Do you before. think he played a ha Sorry, that uh, happened before. But nonetheless, do you believe that Kim Jong Un had a hand in that? That he was asserting himself to say that he was being groomed to become a leader who would be able to take over his father's shoes. Well, we may never know if he actually had a hand in making these events happen, but it's clear that both the Chan'an before he was introduced to the public, but had already been chosen internally and, the, and the, the island shelling which happened after, it's fair to say that they are closely associated with him, that the regime wants him to be s seen as a strong and vigorous leader that will maintain North Korea's power on the world stage. Uh, the funeral, um, the date has been set, December the 28th. Kim Jong-un will make a very public appearance there. What should we expect? And also looking back at the funeral of Kim Il-sung in the mid-1990s, could we see a repeat of what happened then happen this year? Yeah, uh, I think there will be a lot of uh, similarities. Uh, it's interesting that, uh, that North Korea is not going to be accepting uh, foreign funeral delegations because if they had been uh, doing that, uh, it would have placed Washington and particularly Seoul in a very difficult position. Do you send, uh, do you send a condolence mission, uh, thereby uh, offending many for, for paying respects to a dictator, but on the other hand, uh, getting off on the wrong foot with the new leader. So that, that issue doesn't seem like it's going to play out. Um, but we'll be paying, paying close attention not only to the list of how people are listed on, on the funeral delegation, but who actually appears where and who's sitting next to who uh, and standing next to who at the funeral. And one broad brush question for you. Do you think the world is a safer place after the death of Kim Jong-il? Uh, I'm not, I don't think safer, but at least in the short term, I don't think the world has gotten more dangerous. I think the regime is going to hunker down and focus on who's in and who's out. Uh, Kim Jong-il did create a, a transitional structure, what I call a gang of four. Uh, his sister, his brother-in-law, and his most trusted general who he grew up with, uh, Ri Yong-ho, uh, along with his son, Kim Jong-un. And I think they are, they are uh, foster parents, if you will. His aunt, his sister and, uh, and brother-in-law are foster parents now for Kim Jong-un. Uh, so I, I think things will be stable, but I think they'll be very inward-oriented and in sorting out who's in and who's out. Kim Jong-il also surrounded himself with very uh, elderly generals. The average age of the inner circle is over 80, if you exclude the family members and, and this uh, one general. Um, and 80-year-olds don't make uh, very good revolutionaries or coup leaders. So I think things will be stable, but there will still be a period where they're sorting out who's in and who's out.